himself. Shadow first. Demon gets lifted Farm here. The island. Tim's gonna disrupt himself, but I don't think he's gonna survive from this one here. Or maybe not. He's gonna actually run away. The Illusion spawning in a very good position. Now the Fable's gonna come through. Not gonna hit, and now Eden's gonna give the first blood as a result. Okay, did you chase down the Shadow Demon, but now Zephyr in a very awkward position. He now jukes up. That's what I call a suicidal juke. Although, they're not gonna find him. What's happening right now? They'll, they'll find him, eventually. Okay. There he is. They're just trying to make absolutely sure that he doesn't, like, run out. Yeah. So they're just covering all the exits. Alright. Try lane failed. But uh, you were saying that the, the Sand King is doing quite well on the bottom? Yeah, he's he's just farming up the, uh, the idle ones. <laughs> I mean, is that a micro issue or? I want to say that's a micro issue because you could like use your idol answers to deny each other. It's very difficult because he's pretty much he's applying poison and then using burrow strike on them. Yeah. Okay. Top lane, Tim's gonna go down. So he's gonna get a return kill. Ooh, turns around to drop off a crush, and now the Weaver is gonna be able to get the kill. But looks like the poison was able to pick him off. So this, this lane is really much a, a big bloodbath. Back in the mid lane here, it looks like we have a disruption into a a couple of right clicks. Cuckoo's gonna go down here. So RRQ. Definitely making it happen in the, the early game. You know what? I'm actually kind of surprised that there hasn't been any Sunstrike attempt at the top lane. Oh. Well, they're kind of just getting wrecked pins. on here, and Sunstrike would not help here. Keltuzad's gonna run circles around, and now he's gonna go on Rior perhaps in the back line. Gotta be careful, Zephyr's gonna come back in looking for the crush, but he's taking way too much damage. Raven now turns around Zephyr, gonna be going down to the poison, but Raven now getting circled on. Eden does have a Fable, and they're gonna right click him down. Where's that Grave? The heal's gonna come through. Eden taking a ton of damage, but looks like he will survive. Tim's is gonna pick up a kill, I think, unless Eden juice like a god. Disruption? No. And One right click. We are now coming through. I Don't they have Sunstrike? Sunstrike's gonna come through. Bang! Wow! Look at that heal bomb. Dude, he had 4 HP in that disruption. Alright, alright. It's a very potent combo. It it's is. A four, four man heal bomb, and uh, soul catcher, and on top of and, and the, the sun, whether or not you should take Sunder. Okay. I'm gonna trust his judgment call and believe that this is the best option. Okay, Zephyr's gonna come in around, and he's gonna break up the sun, and now they lift up the Dazzle, and that's gonna be one kill. Now they're gonna focus on Tim's. Tim's taking so much damage because of the Swarm, that's who. And now the Astro coming through from OD, that's gonna be a third one. Sunder would not have help here either. And all of a sudden, RRQ getting wrecked in the lane now. Oh, on the bottom lane, looks like a Black Hole was committed. Sam H, able to pick up one up with the help of his Eidolon track. Alright, what's happening here? Tim's disrupt. Sunstrike? Oh, misses the Sunstrike though. Yeah, Eden's fine, and now Burrow Strike's gonna follow that chainsaw, and Tim's gonna be going down here. And Sankey looking at his Blink Dagger timing, he's at 1960, so we're gonna see a Blink very soon. Well, this time up top. They should be. Uh oh, Kelvin. I don't think they can sit back and try to farm. Disruption, but it only ca it caught him in the Sakuchi. Definitely Blast's gonna hit us well, and wow. Perfect combination, Makuku. Yeah. I gotta say, should be the first high ground attempt. Oh, Weaver might get caught here. Sakushi on cooldown for a little bit. Aegis down. Blink black hole. Sunstrike on top. Oh my god, everything. <laughs> All right, he does have yeah, the buyback. Like you said, this is. Mage puts a Malefice behind, but stolen by Eden. Eden though, gotta be careful. Burrow Strike coming in, hitting a lot of people. Zephyr on the back line as well, doing a lot of work. But where's the damage output? Koala is gonna actually just get right click down by the. Raven, Keldu's not walking back in, needs to time lapse back out. Wait, where do you time lapse to? Just behind the base? Okay, he TP'd like. in. Oh, time lapse back to the fountain. Burrow Strike, Epicenter, but gets immediately cancelled. Koala, not having his day right now. That was his buyback, and he's taking way too much damage as well. I think TNC might need to agree with you there. I, did you did you see that Weaver? He did one Shakush and he tried to run through everyone. Yeah, he just got and wrecked. He almost got, uh, he almost got wrecked. Alright, Burrow Strike. Oh, okay, uh, they do find uh, Rior. That's going to be a great pick. Cuckoo, taking a little bit of damage, the meatball, covering the retreat of Sam H. That's a good pick here, and now Aram may be able to pick up a tier 2 tower. OD blinks into a tornado, that's unfortunate for him. Uh oh, Burrow Strike's gonna come in, and that's gonna be on Raven. Raven should be fine, pops a Manta, gets sort of corrosive haze, and that's an OD self orb. 
Sunstrike on top. OD taking a ton of damage. OD cannot die here. Raven pops a meta just to get the kill. I say work. And now they're gonna just push mid, right? OD still has like 30 seconds left. Yeah. So they either force a buyback or it's another later round. Oh my god, look at the solutions. Right now. Uh, it's just going in. Okay, Koala comes in, Burrow Strike, but his Blink Daggers can cancel, and now he's taking way too much damage. Keep in mind, this is buyback. Koala dead. No, okay, defensive Astral. Maybe he could Burrow Strike out. Koala? Okay, okay, the right click's gonna get him dead. Melee Rax down to about a quarter HP. BKB out, Manta out, Meta out. I think it's time for TNC to back off here. No need to take this unnecessary risk. Cuckoo disagree. Blinks in two men tornado here. Oh, Sam H is in the trees. He'll break himself out of the trees. The right click coming due. Eden probably gonna go down here. Cuckoo picks up the kill. Zephyr blinks back in against Sam H, but Sam H so damn tanky. I think they're gonna be fine. Alright, Swarm's gonna scout out this Rosh's hand. TNC bringing it down pretty low here. Okay. Zephyr pops off the Corrosive Haze and bashing him up. Epicenter being channeled on the back line here. They want Raven. He has not activated his BKB. Astro's gonna come in to guarantee the kill on the back line. Tim's going to work here. All right, meanwhile, they do lift up Cuckoo. Do they have a second Burrow Strike? It's a question. One second, Burrow Strike coming off cooldown. It is gonna Burrow down too. Tim's is gonna self disrupt and it's gonna be OD blinking forward. Astro and going to work. Rio is gonna pop a grave. Gonna pour it out. Meanwhile, Cuckoo does not have to back up. He's gonna get Burrow Strike down to death. Yes, looks like the crush is gonna get him. And not activating the BKB by Raven. That was what? some excellent play. Through. Should have went for that Astro ult like I mentioned earlier, but I think they still get the kill regardless. Sam H pops a BKB. Glimmer Cape's gonna keep him alive. Eden's gonna come forward and he's gonna be fine. Okay, OD's gonna go forward to, for, for the Dazzle kill. They see Tim's. Tim's gonna get crushed as well here. That's gonna be a two-shot Tim's. And all of a sudden, we have a creep wave. Oh, we don't actually. As uh. <laughs> Creep wave is always fine. It's just sun strike. Okay. This TP's on CD for a while. Oh, Cuckoo is still chasing him. Oh, on the back line though, Eden doing some work. BK beginning activate. Sam H one man black hole against Rubik. Stolen black oh, hole, stolen. but he's gonna be no. He just died to the right click. <laughs> and now it's gonna be oh, OD no. surrounded from all sides. Just ran out. Okay, he's gonna astro and look to blink himself back out. Can he? Will he? He does blink to the right side, but they can still chase. Uh, four staff. Oh, he's still stuck here. Oh no! Astro again. Astro again. Okay, but I don't think Link he has blink. Three. Okay, there's a buyback here from the slaughter. Okay, three man crush doing some work, but they lose the OD. But the epicenter from Sand Kick. That's huge. Cuckoo dropping very low as well. Zephyr gonna force that away. I heard Thunder going off. Koala gets him a diffusal blade, and he's taking a ton of damage. But the buyback from OD cleans up. Complete chaotic fight. Cuckoo thinking about backdooring something. He blinks into the base and ports back out. Meanwhile, the mid raxes as well as the bot raxes has been completely cleaned up, and that was still multiple buybacks being forced out. This is a, a C Dota game. Back and Sardar bought back as well. Yeah, the OD buyback was key in particular because he is very close to Hex. If he didn't have to buy back there, he would have Hex. Oh, Rior gets stunned. All right, Corrosive Haze. They lift him up. Maybe give him a spell seal. Rior, oh my God, gets caught out and he's dead. And and thankfully this time around the creep wave is at the middle. I think, although at the same time, it's a uh, Blink oh. Hurricane Pike. And they want to force this. Koalas, they pop, lay out the sun here on Raven a little bit. Raven does not care. Tower's going to go down. Tornado does clip him. Black Hole, one man Black Hole. Who's going to rescue him is a question. That's a spy back. He's dead. Black Hole was Wait, stolen. And that is a one man Black Hole gets immediately canceled by Raven. Raven popping the BKB, going to work, right clicking at everybody. He's going to Sunder up, going on Koala. Koala's going to be dead. Kyle Duzak gets purged up. He's gonna get forced back. Buybacks are coming out from the Sand King, but it doesn't matter. The Raxes are taking way too much damage. And people are just dying now. Yeah, buildings are dying. Okay, Koala gets off a nice Burrow Strike, but I don't think that's gonna be enough here. There's just too many stuff surrounding the building. Koala's gonna die once again, and Raven, objective gaming, is gonna take down the building. Keldu's on the back line, gonna get driven away, but that's GG well played being forced out. And what a quick ending to what could have been a very climactic game. I think I think we greatly underestimated just how important the buyback from OD is.